With the play-by-play -play of this evening's contest, Mr. Tanner Hesterberg. Thank you, Jim. Let your central winning the coin toss, electing to receive Jalen Williams, Hunter Hall back deep for the Cougars. Kicking it off for Madison Southern, Garrison Watts, the senior. Opening round of the Class 5A playoffs underway here tonight in Whitesburg. And it's Hall fielding at his own eight-yard line, looking for a good return and gets by the first wave. This is Hunter Hall. He may go. The opening kickoff taken back 92 yards for a touchdown by Hunter Hall. Fourth and nine, Cougars need to get to the Madison Southern four-yard line for a first down. Blair to throw it. It's a screen pass, has it to Hall, has the first down, and Hall down at the one-yard line. They convert a big fourth down conversion there for Letcher Central. Madison Southern looking to respond after giving up an 80-yard touchdown drive to Letcher Central, and that was after the special teams for the Eagles surrendered a 92-yard kickoff return for a touchdown to start the game. It's 14-0 Letcher Central at home. For the first time in the Class 5A playoffs in five years, you have to go back to 2009 to find the last time that Letcher Central hosted a playoff game. The Cougars defeated Harlan County that year 14-13 and are on their way so far to another playoff win tonight as Blair, the quarterback, kicks it short. And it'll be fallen upon at the 30-yard line by Madison Southern's Andrew Miller. And Damian Harris out there for the first time for Madison Southern. We didn't see him on the opening drive, but now the Eagles will turn to their senior running back, rated the best back in the nation by several recruiting services, scholarship offers from Alabama, Kentucky, Florida, Texas A&M, Ohio State, and it looks as if he'll take the direct snap here. Harris looking for some running room and picks up about five yards on his first carry of the game. Tough duty for the young man here, trailing 14-0, Tanner, to ask him to come in, take the direct snaps, and try to do something with all 11 blue shirts knowing he's going to get his hands on it. So deck sort of stacked against Damian right now, but you see now they're getting that eye formation and perhaps change things up a bit. Harris on second and five, hit in the backfield and spilled. A great push up front for Letcher Central as Jacob Kaiser got into the backfield, slowed down Harris, and then Hunter Hall finished him off. It'll be third and five. That's what you're going to have to have if you're a Letcher Central fan. You're going to have to have a lot of blue shirts. One guy basically not going to bring Harris down. You're going to have to gang tackle that young man. Key to get good penetration, and that's what's been going on with that defensive front for Letcher Central. It's third and five. Harris, nowhere to go. A gain of just two yards. It'll be fourth and three for Madison Southern. Don't know about having Harris for the decoy, Tanner. I'm thinking you want to get 33 with his hands on it and let him operate. Harris in motion. He gets the carry here, and he is hit from behind. Nowhere to go. Taken down by Jacob Kaiser, the senior team captain. And it's third and ten for Madison Southern. And how about big number 50? Tanner, that kid's playing a heck of a ball game on the offensive line and now on the defensive line. Watch him as he comes from the weak side to make the stop on Harris. They tried to send Harris in motion and give him the football, and it just didn't work. Eagles need 10 yards for a first down, 12 for a touchdown. Sloan looking for his first pass completion of the game, able to dump it in the flat to A.J. Richardson, but he's well short of the first down. Man. Good coverage by Letcher Central as Avery Stamper made the stop, and it's fourth down. Field goal unit coming on for Madison Southern. That's Garrison Watts. The senior kicker does have one field goal this year to go along with 31 extra points, and he'll try to put Madison Southern on the board. Got to try and get something here, I think, if you're Coach Clark. 
for the Eagles. This is a 28-yard field goal try for Watts. Good snap, good hold, plenty of distance on the kick. And the Eagles get the goose egg off the board. 21-3 now as Watts converts his second field goal of the season. Nine first downs in this first half for Letcher Central, and they have that ability to chew up the rest of this clock. Hand off to Hall, and he's loose again. Hunter Hall, who ran back the opening kickoff, may go. <laughs> one man to beat, and he's dragged down at the one-yard line. He came one yard short of a touchdown. As it stands, a 68-yard dash for the senior Hunter Hall, who's having himself a ball game. First and 10 from their own 39. Eagles need something good to happen. Harris trying to give them a spark, and not much there. Picked up three yards, maybe four, before running into Jacob Kaiser. It brings up second down. After the gain of three by Harris, it's second and seven. Sloan, play action. Plenty of time, and he airs it out deep. Has a man wide open, and it's through his hands. Peyton Skidmore had six points staring him right in the face. It hit him in the numbers and then went to the turf. So instead of a touchdown, it's now third down. Boy, Sloan put that one right on the money. Fletcher Central dodges a big bullet there. Third down, they hand it off. Harris, this is his best run of the game, but can he stretch it for a first down? Going to depend on the spot. I think he has enough. Yes, needed seven, picked up eight. Longest run of the game for Damian Harris. And a first down for Madison Southern. Maybe that'll get him going. Harris, a lot of people believe he'll end up at Kentucky, but he said he really didn't take the Wildcats seriously a couple years ago when they offered him a scholarship before Mark Stoops got there. But since, since then, things have changed. The whole culture around UK football has changed, and now the Wildcats are a major player in his recruitment. With the rush here, it's not Harris. That's Dawson Richardson, one of two Richardsons coming out of that Madison Southern backfield along with A.J. Richardson, who handled the bulk of the carries in those four games that Damian Harris was hurt. Tell you, six. tell you, Tanner, you're going to see lining up over the football there, number 22, Preston Maggard. The nose tackle at 5'4", 156. He's holding his own on the inside. First man through here. Again, that's Richardson, and he has a first down. Lost the ball at the end of the play, but got it back. They're saying he was down anyway. Needed four, picked up seven. Fresh set of sticks for the Eagles. Second and ten, Damian Harris poised to take the direct snap for the Eagles. And there he goes, following his blockers and getting to the outside. This is where he's so dangerous as he cuts back. And then it takes five Letcher Central players to bring him down. Finally, they dogpile him after a gain of eight yards. Third and two coming up for Madison Southern. And coming up at halftime here are Appalachian Wireless game of the week but first we have to play out these final 62 seconds Sloan looking to throw again on first and 10 flag down as he hits a wide open Andrew Miller Fumble. coughs it up in the end zone and it appears the Cougars have come up with it for a touchback and they have as Avery Stamper picked it up but we're gonna have to check this flag if it's a hold on Madison Southern let your central can decline and get the ball a big win for Letcher County Central tonight, 49-18 to over Madison Southern. The Cougars advance to play Pulaski County here next Friday night in the next round of the Class 5A playoffs. Along with Jim Frazier, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. Jim, what can you say about this one? At halftime, I asked you your first half thoughts, and you just said complete domination on the part of Letcher Central in the second half. Pretty much the same story. 